500 test match wickets. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty amazing. I look at where I currently am on wickets and feel very grateful and I know very humble with where, where I'm at at the moment but when I feel like 500 is, is pretty amazing when you look at the names that have been able to achieve that milestone in, in Test Match cricket history and to think that I had the chance to put my name up alongside some of the greats, it's well, not some of the greats, the greats of the game, it's I oh, know it's pinch, pinch yourself kind of stuff. Oh, there's a oh, he's taken it! That's a ripper! Good hands on time by Lyon. Like that! How close is it? Very close! That's the one! Nathan Lyon, you beauty! Choose the drive, too good, too good for Wokes. He's obviously played over 100 tests, which is a, a great achievement. Just his ability to show up every day and be so consistent. You know, doesn't venture far from his stock ball, and I think that consistency is, yeah, that's his key. He's just been there, done it consistently over and over and over again. He just bowls good ball after good ball after good ball, you know, and um, gets lots of bounce, which is kind of rare for a spin bowler. His stock ball, as an off spinner, is the best off, stock ball off spinner I've ever faced. And I think a lot of people will say the same. The amount of revs he gets on the ball, particularly for wickets that don't spin, like he can spin it on anywhere. Some things you only really see from a leg spinner but he does it as an off spinner. He gets so much energy on that ball. But with that energy, he's so accurate. So you combine those two things and experience he has now, over 100 plus test matches. I mean, yeah, he does his role beautifully. Oh, he's wiped the cross one. He expected some sort of spin, but it didn't happen. It slid onto off and taken the stump out of the ground. I think the way he's been able to adapt over the years to bowl, how he needs to bowl in different conditions, that's been a huge part of his success I suppose the last probably five years I think I've seen him do that really well. You can count the bad days on one hand in 100 plus test matches, even when there's nothing on offer he still finds a way to be effective and whether it's keeping it dry and letting us attack or, or him attacking, it's, he always finds a way on any surface to be in the game be effective. And it's just his love for it. Um, I think he, he, just, he just generally loves playing cricket for Australia and um, that comes out in his emotions and um, probably the reason why he doesn't work as hard as he does over his game. And he, he keeps wanting to get better which, you know, for someone who's played as long as he has, it's, it's a great trade and you know, I'm really pleased with what he's been able to achieve and yeah, it'd be great to see him tick over to 500. My wife Emma about it the other day and she said that you should be really proud of it and go out and enjoy it and I think that's really helped my cricket over the last number of years is playing with my mates and really having a really fun element and enjoying, enjoying going out there and I don't know so personal milestones I know I hate talking about them but yeah it's something that I'll be pretty proud of.